Pat Griffin grew up in Silver Spring, Maryland, where it was just understood in her family that she would attend the university. Pat played basketball, field hockey, and swam at the University of Maryland College Park. Besides the lessons of sport, her college experience also planted the seeds of advocacy. Pat's experience as a pre-Title IX woman athlete and her experiences as a closeted lesbian made her acutely aware that she and all women athletes were being treated like second-class citizens. Women athletes were not allowed to earn the varsity M that the men had. They played on fields that were not maintained. Their gym had dead spots on the floor. They drove themselves to away games. And their uniforms were passed from team to team for fall, winter, and spring sports. And it was even worse when she began to coach high school girls. Even though there were two gyms, she had to fight the boys' JV coaches for practice time for varsity girls teams. Pat moved on to coach swimming at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, where she found the same low level of respect for women athletes. When Title IX, the federal law granting equal access to funding for women's sports was passed, she became very involved in fighting with male athletics administrators to increase their support for women's teams. The exposure Title IX brought to the unfairness of college athletics, combined with her feelings of being a deeply closeted lesbian athlete and then coach, were taking a toll. The seeds of advocacy planted during her college years had taken root and were beginning to grow above the surface. Pat claims that her time as a closeted lesbian athlete in high school at Maryland and then as a coach filled her with shame and she constantly feared that if anyone found out, she would not only lose her job as a coach, but also the respect and affection she had from coaches, colleagues, and her athletes. Though not out as a lesbian, at least publicly, some of her swimmers figured it out and sought her counsel as they dealt with their own sexuality. And I remember one day I was sitting in, in my office after my swim practice and there was a quiet knock at the door and um, a woman who was on the basketball team, she wasn't even on my team, appeared in the door and somehow she had figured out that I was a coach that she could come and talk to because she was a lesbian. We just talked, um, we, shared, we shared stories, I came out to her. The game-changing moment for me was to realize how important it was for me to get a little courage and step out because there were young people who needed adults to be there for them. Listening to the stories and struggles of these young women with the same shame, fear, and isolation that she had experienced led her to want to be part of making life different for future generations of lesbian athletes and coaches. And she has. Pat has been an advocate for LGBT equality in sport for over 30 years and is acknowledged as the grandma of the LGBT sports equality movement. She is founding director for Changing the Game, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network Sports Project. Pat is Professor Emerita in Social Justice Education at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, where her research and writing interests were LGBT issues in education and athletics. She regularly consults with the NCAA and college athletic departments on LGBT issues in sports. She is the author of Strong Women, Deep Closets, Lesbians, and Homophobia in Sports, co-author of On the Team, Equal Opportunities for Transgender Student Athletes, the NCAA Guide for the Inclusion of Transgender Athletes, and Champions of Respect, NCAA Guide for the Inclusion of LGBTQ Student Athletes. Pat's hope to be out as an athlete was realized when she won a bronze medal in the triathlon at the Gay Games and a gold medal in the Gay Games hammer throw. Pat claims that she is happier every day because changes are happening. There's an increasing inclusion of LGBT athletes and coaches, and people now, LGBT and straight, are allies and advocates who are speaking out. Pat's goal is now to be out of business. With the recent dramatic shifts in society about inclusion for LGBT people, acceptance and understanding have taken root, and many have stepped up to carry on. Pat is no longer the only courageous voice, but she will always be known as one of the first. Bigger picture of being a Champion Award winner, Pat Griffin.